Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you have not been here before, thank you so much for coming. Today is going to be another episode of sipping on the same wine I talked about last week. Um, this is the Cabernet Sauvignon, um, the Trader Joe's line of organic wines. It is so good. I highly recommend that you guys try it out. It's one of the best red wines I think I've tried this year at least. Um, so I'm sipping on that today. Okay you guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I build my custom websites. So when I say custom, I mean I'm not using a template or I'm not using a kind of cut and dry Leo sale um, website that you might see. Leo! <laughs> Every time I start filming, he, his tail is so long too, it always ends up in the shop. Um, but yes, I do completely custom. So I use my creativity to build a website that no one else really has. And that's the beauty of being a website designer and why you really can raise your prices is because these are custom and fully unique to the client. So the way I do that is I design them on Adobe XD and then I either develop it on WordPress or Wix. Those are my two favorite web building platforms. I am going to be developing this one on Wix once we decide on the design. Um, but this video is gonna be just showing you guys my design process, where I get my inspiration from, and just really diving into actual like designing from a blank page to a beautiful website. So I'm using a lot of placeholder text in this and placeholder images because I haven't received the content planner from her yet, which I send my clients um, at the start. Um, but that's okay, we'll plug that in once she sends that over. We have a deadline on that, so I'm not worried because we're not really close to that yet. But I did want to get this going because um, I'm excited about it. It's a fun project and I really love how it turned out. So let's hop on over to my screen recordings and I will show you guys how I design my custom websites. With my clients, I design the homepage first and I typically do two homepage designs just so we can have a couple different directions to go in and it'll really help me get an idea of what they like to see for the rest of the design. So I already started, I was recording a bit of it yesterday, um, but I wanted to kind of walk through exactly what I do and what I'm thinking about when I'm designing. So I design on Adobe XD. I have found that it's like the nicest platform for website designing and also I can kind of mock it up so when I hit share here I can share it as a presentation so it will look like an actual live website which I will show you guys at the end but also you can add colors you can add the font styles you can add everything you're gonna need to add into your WordPress or Wix or Squarespace any of the um, theme settings that you're going to have to plug in you can just already have them set here so it's super easy to just kind of like get it all developed and perfect so yeah i want to walk you guys through how i'm designing this so she basically gave me the directions of she wants to see some like coffee shop browns um some army military green colors and she just wants it really clean and simple um so she also sent me some designs that she likes which were that was super helpful um, let me actually pull up one of the her friends photography website reminds me a lot of like show it websites um, just really beautiful simple um, those like warm colors which is right up my alley I love that so much um, sorry Leo's Leo's being weird right here so this is very helpful I also sometimes when I'm looking for inspiration for my website designs We'll go on to show it and look at just some of the designs they have on here and I actually was getting very inspired by this one so I'm gonna pull it up and I don't copy it but it just really helps me with like layout ideas and different section ideas I think I'm gonna go look right now for um, a different sort of brown color that way we can start implementing that into the design what we do is drag that in here and let's see let's see what that brown looks like 
Yeah, I do like that better. I like the more light colored browns. Let me try one more. All right, so I'm gonna keep this color and what I'll do is I'll add that in here and I'll remove the other brown that we were using. And I'm gonna go down here and change the brown to the newer one. Yeah, like this, follow us on social media for updates. I like that because I don't think she's gonna actually have a newsletter. And my questionnaire allows them to answer all these types of things. I know she wants social media handles. I'm gonna actually add in the character styles now. So there's the header one, which we I think I can rename, which is the body font. And then this is header two, I would say. H1, H2, all that, because you're going to need that when you go into Wix or even Divi to create your um, theme options in those settings. Okay, look. I have a section up here which will just be like a call to action, probably a little bit of her mission, and then the button will probably lead to either the about or the shop, probably the shop to be honest. I'm actually going to create an example drop down right here for the shop just so she sees kind of what I'm going for. I'm just going to continue designing and I will talk to you guys after and kind of show you like how I send it over to her. Um, but that's just a little bit of like my thought process. Give up everything that I Expected love was found. You're the rose in a garden, and it shows if I'm honest. You're the leaves in mid August, and I've come out here to say.
spread your love What if your sweetness could reach everyone There'd be no wars Birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope I wanted to show you what it looks like when I send the Adobe XD files to my client. So this is the designs over on XD. Um, when you hit the share tab up here, you can actually do links. So you can do design review development, all these. Development's cool if you um, maybe send it to someone to build the site for you once it's designed because it has the colors, all the downloadable pictures. Um, it's a really simple way to just like give them everything they need in one place. Um, I do presentation just because I feel like it looks the nicest for the client. So I did that and I copied the link and this is what it looks like. See if I stretch it out, it'll kind of be responsive with that. So it's really great for presentation. Um, so yeah, this is the first page I designed. This one's a bit more white and simple. I'm kind of leaning towards the second design because it has a lot more of those like browns and like warmer colors. Um, so I also kind of like the full whip image to really make a statement. I think this could be an image of her products um, and then maybe even be like a shop now kind of thing. Um, I don't have any content like I said so I'm kind of just waiting until we discuss this. Um, I think this could be about the charities and then like product in product part <laughs> um, and then this could just be a little bit about the products maybe reviews Instagram and the footer so pretty simple a couple of rules that I like to follow when it comes to like home pages is always include social handles a way to contact um, typically for most e-commerce websites review area is really important so like having easy to access reviews um, and then also products if it's an e-commerce website on the front page is important. Um, I typically like to start my home pages with like a little bit about the business um, but I do think we could move up the products to the top here because that is the main action she wants them to take on the website so we can definitely talk about that when I meet with her but um, I'm loving these. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something from it. If you did, I would love it so much if you comment down below something you learned, um, maybe other questions you have, I'm happy to answer them. But thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one.